Major League Baseball's Division Series presented by Budweiser. It is a beautiful day, bright, sunshiny day, no rain anywhere near Yankee Stadium. After being rained out here last night, the Tigers and Yankees ready to play game two of their American League Division Series. And let's take a look at the Tigers batting order presented by Prestone. Curtis Granderson, he had a home run in game one, very powerful, center field. Vasilo Polanco, the second baseman, still injured with that left shoulder. Sean Casey, first base, acquired during the year from Pittsburgh. And then Maglio Ordonez in right field. He's the big slugger, the veteran slugger. Carlos Guillen had an excellent year offensively, hitting 320 at short. Ivan Rodriguez, the veteran catcher, is hitting sixth. And Craig Monroe, 28 home runs, hitting seventh and left. Marcus Timms, originally a Yankee, and he had 26 home runs this year. And Brandon Edge at third base, he had 27 home runs. A lot of power in the last third. Messina, 15 and 7 during the season, 3.51 ERA. He struck him out with the breaking ball. Two moments ago, blowing in from left across toward right. The curveball in the dirt struck him out. And Posada throws him out. And that's one of the things that Messina has going for him. The, Bureau, the official <laughs> statisticians for baseball. I want you to be official from now on. And there is Derek Jeter. A low throw, and it is knocked out of the glove of Sheffield. And Sheffield could have gotten badly hurt on that play. Sheffield, who already has a, a wrist problem that put him on the shelf for most of the year. Good hitter. I mean, he knows the strike zone. And he struck him out with the high hard one. The veteran, Messina, strikes out the side. The veteran leadoff man will start off in center field. Finish the year in a slump. Derek Jeter, 343, almost won the batting title. Shortstop. Bobby Abreu, four RBIs in his first Yankee postseason game. Right field, Gary Sheffield. He finished up in a hot streak. First base, Jason Giambi, who homered in game one, the DH. Alex Rodriguez at third base, 121 batted in this year. Hideki Matsui also back, swing the bat well. Jorge Posada, the catcher, 93 batted in. Robinson Cano, another guy who almost won the batting title. He's hitting ninth with a 342 batting average. So here we go. Justin Verlander, 23 years old, to Damon, and a fastball, a strike. Verlander was 17 and 9 in the regular season, 30 starts. And a changeup blo blooped into left field. And that one is in there. Guillen stopped going out. And the left fielder Monroe retired in this series. He drops a bunt. Punch Rodriguez out to get it. Well, the one thing they did, they did change their strategy. He was set up away, meaning Rodriguez sacrifice. And it's a four-pitch walk in times this year. Two men on. And did he swing? Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> now, that's pitch. that curveball we're talking about, Joe. Well, and that's the time to short. He had the ball. Runners go. Just off the outside, he walked in. And now they are loaded for Alex Rodriguez. Loaded. The curveball, strike three call. The Yankees with a threat. They leave them loaded. Carlos Guillen coming up. Then Pudge Rodriguez. No score. There are walks as well, Joe. Base, yeah. Steals bases. Good pitch. There's Damon out in center. Toward left center. And one away. Let's take a look at the sequence of pitches. It was made of the one hitting six. The New York Rodriguez. Messina throws out Pudge. And that is out number two. The rest of the year. That one is drilled, and that's a fair ball. Touched by a fan, fan interference, and the umpires will award Monroe second base on the fan interference. When a fan interferes with the ball, the umpires have to decide what they think would have happened if the fan had not interfered. The, the signal was not automatic double. The signal was fan interference, and that's a base hit for Marcus Timms. And heading around third and scoring is Craig Monroe, the first run of the game. And make no mistake about it, that's a big run for Detroit because, you know, they've probably... Marcus Timms, the runner at first. Did he swing? The appeal? Yes! 
Alfonso Marquez brings him up. But the Tigers with a two out rally, a double by Monroe. Tim singles him home. One to nothing Detroit. Matsui coming up. Now the Yankees trailing one to nothing and Hideki Matsui base hit. First ball swinging against Verlander. And he walks Posada. And now he's in trouble. Two men on, nobody out. And the red hot Robinson Cano. Split second away. The breaking ball to third. Inge gets one over the first. Too late. Inge did not see that ball right away. Yeah, I mean, you can see him now, but he didn't see the ball. When that ball was first hit, I watched him, and he didn't move. And then all of a sudden, he picked it up. Okay. Posada at second, Cano at first. Damon lifts a high fly ball. Left center. They're battling the fierce sunshine out there. The center fielder, Granderson, called off Monroe. And that is out number two. Justin Verlander. Cheater hit that one sharply right to short. He end to second. And the force out, Polanco, forces Cano. More of a threat for the Yankees, no runs. Top of the order coming up for the Tigers, who lead. Third ball. And the true hop for Sheffield, Messina covering. You know what, that was an excellent play there by Sheffield. A lot of guys, you know, more comfortable. Right to third, Alex Rodriguez. And that is out number two. Center field, strong defense, strong offense, strong pitching. And they won it all. Jeter, far afield to get that one over to Messina. Three ground ball outs. Bobby Abreu, Gary Sheffield, Jason Giambi. Big power. Although a huge crowd nonetheless. As Abreu belts one to right field. And that ball is off the wall. Ordonez plays the carom, holds him to a single. Well, that was off. That ball was hit like a shot. It was just Gian behind deck. Now the curveball. This could be two. Polanco steps in the bag one. Over to first. Two. A double play. I mean, he doesn't handle the high fastball middle in as well as he does the other fastballs. Curveball struck him out. And that's the first quick inning for Verlander. Maglio Ordonez. The cleanup hitter coming up. One-nothing Detroit.